weeks. I'm Peg Hoffman for quite a few years now. I was a volunteer at the Iron Hill Museum. The Iron Hill Museum is a small uh, one-room schoolhouse that was converted into a museum by two very dedicated amateurs, married couple, Ann and Bob Nelson. It was located on the other side of Iron Hill. We lived on the north side. It was on the south side. I got involved because my son was involved. He got involved because a friend of mine also helped establish the museum. Uh, in the very beginning, and their son and my son and another boy were all good friends and they all you know, spent their nights helping out at the museum. And what else, what better can your teenage son do than spend nights at the muse museum? So I was very happy with that, but after a while I became friends with the, one of the founders, Ann Nelson, of the museum, and she persuaded me to give guiding a try. So I was very dubious about my ability, but I went <laughs> around with two of the experienced guides, and I figured I never could do that well, but I tried anyway, and found that I really enjoyed it. And so for several years, they were mostly elementary children, and it was really fun, and I was learning a whole lot along with the children while I was doing it. So it was a win-win situation. After, after my husband had retired, uh, he joined us as a guide too. He was an outside guide because he was also always interested and knew a lot about the nature and outdoors. And he, much to my surprise, he loved it. <laughs> and so we were a pretty good team there. And we also got volunteered at the Delaware Nature Society, which was where we learned even more.